Hey, what's up guys? Duff here. Doing another from my office chair video. Because um, I just got back from a bike ride with Cindy. Kind of hot. I'm not sure if I'll get out later on the wheel or not. Maybe. Be nice. Kind of. It's, it's super, super humid today, guys. So I'm all sweaty and uh, and blah. But thought I would take a um, few minutes and record a quick video. When I um, was eating my breakfast, I flipped through my YouTube feed and I saw a uh, video from Mickey. And the video, uh, let's see, where is it? It was called Free the Videos, Please, EVX. And um, what he is referring to is the V12. Um, I did a video, God, I don't know, is it a month and a half ago now, about the initial V12 uh, leak that happened because of uh, specs and pictures and a manual being posted to an FCC site. Um, unintentionally, all kinds of information about the V12 was released. And now evidently, I'm not sure, I, I believe, I didn't do tons of research into this, how this actually happened, but I believe in motion inadvertently, or, or I, well, I don't know how you do it inadvertently, Basically, a, a, the V12 is up for pre-order on AliExpress. And you can go there and you can see everything about the V12. And, uh, yeah, I mean, really, there, there's, there's almost nothing that is not out in the public eye yet. So the reason that Mickey made this video was he and several other peoples, I know Mad Pack's one, I don't know who else is on the list, that there's, there's a few people that in motion decided to give um, early versions of the V12 to, solicited their feedback, um, took their suggestions, and um, yeah, they gave them early access to the product and allowed them to um, you know, actively participate in ideas for the product and improvements. Now, however, however, there is a gotcha to that and uh, all of these creators had to sign agreements basically i assume they're basically ndas non-disclosure agreements where hey uh, you can't really talk about it you can't show pictures about it uh, or, or of it uh, you're, you're very restricted in what you can do so i know mickey has shot a bunch of videos about this he has them ready to go but in the meantime all of this information is coming out all over the place sort of making uh, the whole thing anticlimactic from a uh, perspective of these people that got early access to the wheels. So he is frustrated by it, and I can understand that. Uh, in motion, I'm not quite sure. I, I guess I guess what they are what they are wanting to do is have all these people that are under NDAs just wait until they do the official announcement, you know, similar to what they did with the V11, where they did like a press conference. Um, they they want, to, want them to just sit on their hands until then. And, uh, but, but it's almost like in motion is ignoring reality, ignoring the reality of the situation. All of the specs are out already, just making people wait for the sake of waiting. I don't know that that's the best idea. And I do feel bad for these creators that, you know, it's, and I had a little conversation with Mickey. It's almost like a double-edged sword. You know, you are, you are chosen as someone that, that, um, you know, we think enough of, I guess they don't think enough of me. They think enough of you that they want you in, in, uh, engaged in this early, early testing and development. But your hands are now tied behind your hands are now tied behind your back uh, until they say you can uh, talk about it publicly. So yeah, he's frustrated. I can understand it. So, anyways, that being said, I'm not um, I'm not restricted by an NDA. <laughs> And I did see the, uh, there, there's like a, a huge graphic file that was part of the listing on AliExpress. And I was looking at it, and you should be able to see it right here. I have it blown up full screen, and it, it talks about pretty much every feature on the V12. So let's go through this. Here's, there's a, a, a cool picture of it, stylistic picture. Max speed, 70 kilometers an hour. Now, there's some people that, are, that were saying, oh, man, there's no way that the rideable speed on the V12 is 70 kilometers an hour. They were thinking that was like the, the free spin speed. No, it's actually supposed to be able to be ridden 70 kilometers an hour. Now, I don't know for how long. If it's like the V11, where like maybe th for the first 20% of the pack, you can go that fast. But if, if they're posting it as a max speed of 70 kilometers an hour, it's it can go 70 kilometers an hour with a rider on there. Battery capacity of 1750 uh, watt hours, very respectable. You know, 1800 watt hours is, is a pretty good uh, baseline nowadays for a wheel with uh, lots of range. 
the headlight, the the four the quad headlight design, which is supposed to be adaptive. I, I'm I'm not a real big fan of the way it looks, but um, it probably functions very very well. So yeah, I don't I don't love that look, but functionality wise, I expect it to be quite good. 2,500 watt motor, again on par with a lot of Gotway wheels. Should be strong, and and from the few feedback I've heard from some people that have actually ridden it, uh, it is a strong wheel. Waterproof IPX5. Okay, well we'll see. We know how waterproof I feel that the V11 is, um, but the V12 does not have a hollow motor, so the V12 does not have the same problematic bearings uh, that the V11 does. So that's that's great for me. And I believe the battery is actually rated IPX7, which means it could actually be submerged for a period of time. So IPX5 is a is a pretty good waterproof rating, and it's a hundred volt wheel. In motion's first 100 volt wheel so that's another um, big change the screen the screen on the v12 they they've taken uh, what the sherman has done uh, with their with their onboard um, control panel slash screen and uh, they, they moved it ahead uh, decades <laughs> you know it's full color it's touch uh, but it basically has all of the features of the app or not all maybe not all of them but close to all the features on the app all on this nice little touch screen. Super cool if you ask me, very visible. It's up front uh, where you wanna be able to see it. So I, I think that's great. My only question would be uh, durability. Hopefully they make it strong. You know, that, that the first time the thing falls on its side, it doesn't crack. Uh, I would hope that InMotion has thought about impact um, resistance with that screen. But I think it's, it's super, super cool. This was interesting. This is something I hadn't heard about before, an anti-theft digital lock. Um, you hear people complaining, you know, luckily I haven't ever had that issue, but there are people that get their wheels stolen. And uh, this is a nice little deterrent that they can actually lock it down with a code that you can't initiate the wheel without putting that code in. That's cool. That's the only uh, wheel that has this feature. A two-level visual alarm. So I guess, okay, so in addition to just seeing the speed, you can also change the color at certain speeds just to give you a very quick... Um, visual sign of your speed. You know, if, if it's red, that means you might want to start thinking about slowing down. So that's cool. Again, talking about the ultimate riding experiences, you'll know these. You know, you'll notice these pictures are uh, uh, better looking than the early ones that we saw. It's the lights. Having the lights on really makes the wheel look uh, better, for sure. Again, reiterating the top speed, motor power, and the hill climbing of 35 degrees, uh, being able to to traverse a 35 degree hill, that's that's significant. That's awesome. Talking again about the headlight. A built-in light sensor enables a headlight that can be turned on and off automatically. Um, I mean, we have that we have the ability for lights to go on and off automatically already, but it's gonna be interesting to see how this works with, with four different lights. Ambient RGB light on the side. Yeah, they, they basically have totally reversed course. With the V11, one of the things they talked about was, hey, no, no, ex no exterior lighting besides the headlight and the, and the brake light and uh, no speakers either. And uh, this, the V12 does have speakers again as well, and supposedly very good speakers. So they have, I guess enough people complained about not having those features in the V11, which supposedly when the V11 was released, they said, and Motion said that they were going to have add-on options for lights and speakers. Never happened. Um, I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah, that never happened. I thought this screen was interesting. They talk about, they show a depiction of the controller on the V12, comparing it, comparing it to the V11. Now, in a way, I think it's a little weird because it kind of it kind of uh, looks down in the V11. It says, hey, look at the little tiny control board here that doesn't dissipate, dissipate heat that well on the V11. You know, and we're still selling that wheel, by the way. But here, if, if you want something with a lot more heat sink and, and uh, real estate, uh, the V12 control board is uh, much, much bigger and supposedly safer uh, with a superior control and algorithm. Sounds impressive. Okay, this is another thing that was rumored. I didn't actually see the implementation prior to this graphic. Adjustable pedals to keep you safe at off-road riding. So you can actually adjust the pedals uh, two centimeters uh, up to give you um, more clearance depending on your on your riding preference and, and uh, you know, terrain so uh, that's nice again it's the first the first wheel that has adjustable pedals that way 
Uh, prior to that, there's some wheels that you could put different pedal hangers on to adjust your pedal height, but not not like this, not this, not like this implementation. So, another nice new feature it says the BMS is um, it has, says it has three BMSs. I'd be interesting on the the technical explanation of how that all works together. But supposedly a superior battery management system. This exploded diagram um, is kind of cool. See the basic layout of the parts. My hope is the V12 is significantly easier to disassemble than the V11. That is one of the negatives of the V11 for sure. Uh, complexity when uh, doing pretty much anything. If you get a flat tire, you're in for a long day to fix that yourself. The uh, the charge ports, they're in the back. I remember when I talked about this in my last video, I was kind of confused with the charge port location. I actually thought it was on top of the wheel. It's not. It's on the back between the, the rear lights. So. Uh, should be out of harm's way. It has a nice little rubber cover over it. Uh, again, the innovation here is it has a USB-C port in addition to a USB-A port. First wheel to have that. And a five-prong uh, five 100 volt charging port. 2.3 amp charger. Not crazy. Uh, not, not super uh, high speed charging, but that's fine. It's fine for me. Uh, someone that's looking to to charge and 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 uh, while they eat lunch and get back out on the road, they might want something faster. But for me, uh, that's fine. Um, it is interesting that they decide to only go with one charge port instead of two. Not not quite sure why that is. A lot of, a lot of wheels nowadays have two charge ports, but they only went with one. It says it'll take nine hours to charge this fully. A CST fourteen eighty eight tire, sixteen inch and three inches wide, or just like the um, the King Song sixteen X. I, I'm a big fan of the way the 16X rides, even at speed. Uh, I'm hoping the V12 has similar characteristics in that regard. Comfortable, stable. Spin kill button, that's pretty much standard fare. That's, that's been around on in motion wheels forever, but they had that on the V12 as well. Um, I don't know if they talk about the handle. They have. They, it has the standard flip-up handle that you see in a lot of in motion wheels. Some people don't like that. I'm fine with it. You know, the, uh, I've never had a problem with it. It's easy to use. Um, so it has a similar handle design to other in-motion wheels. Uh, tire stand—they stole that idea from. Well, they stole that idea from themselves. Basically, they took the uh, the idea they have in the V11 and they just incorporated it in the V12. And I, I actually like that feature. When it was uh, announced with the V11, I wasn't that. I didn't really care about it. I didn't think I would really use it, but I do use it. It's uh, it's nice to have a, a kickstand built into the the, uh, the wheel like that. Oh, here we go. Talking about the trolley handle. Standard fare. Some people complain that you know it could come loose and you know smack you in the crotch or something, or or during an accident uh, it could fly loose and, and break off. Well, it's the same thing with any of the other motion wheels. The Nikola, you know, had a similar location for its handle, so I don't I don't see that as a plus or a negative. But I do know that as far as functionality goes, using it as a trolley, uh, it's far superior to something like uh, what they have in the RS or the uh, the EX. You know, that little. A little like credit card style handle that comes up on a real floppy arm, and uh, and doesn't doesn't have a good seal to water as well. So you, know, you have no water ingress with the design here on the V12. Here they talk about the speakers. Bluetooth speaker array, four loudspeakers spread at the front and rear body, give you an immersive stereophonic experience. Uh, personally, I don't play music on my wheels very often, very very infrequently. But uh, if you do. It sounds like you have a, uh, a quality system in there, as opposed to some of the really shitty speakers that you've seen in EUCs in the past. Uh, just going over the specs, see if there's anything uh, noteworthy. 120 kilogram max payload, that's pretty normal nowadays. Net weight 29 kilograms, it is not going to be a light wheel. Max slope 35 degrees. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, here's the, the battery IPX7 rating I was talking about. And all this other stuff I have talked about already. Yeah, okay, we're at the bottom. So yeah, even though it's a single graphic, boy, there's a lot of information there, right? There really is nothing, uh, nothing left to the imagination, really, except except you know, getting more real-world footage and uh, and feedback, which uh, you know creators like Mickey could provide. He has it ready to go. It is unfortunate that uh, he is not able to. Uh, talk about it and share it more freely at this point just based on what's happened so far with all this information being out there already I really don't see the point in uh, not letting uh, creators talk about it. It's uh, it's unfortunate 
So I am still very uh, excited about the V12. Um, with Liam leaving in motion, I'm, I'm curious how it's going to affect the rollout itself. Hopefully not negatively. I have not heard any information as far as when it's supposed to come out. But the other thing I did not mention is I did see that they are putting the potential price based on what it's listed at on some of these sites as about $2,300 US. So we'll see how accurate that is. Uh, more than the V11. No suspension, but it does have a stronger motor and a lot more tech and a bigger battery, significantly bigger battery. So we'll see. I mean, at that number, I think um, I think it's it's uh, competitive enough that you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of interest in the wheel. So that really, that's all I want to say, guys. I wanted to um, you know put in my 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 support of uh, letting the the creators that have been experiencing the V12 now for quite a while uh, let them let them. Say their piece. Everyone else is. I mean, I don't know what's what's gained by uh, just making them artificially wait when the cat is literally out of the bag, really. And that does make a lot of sense to me. So if you guys found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. Those of you that follow me on Instagram, you may see that I've been messing around with my, uh, my EUC stands. I've come up with something called the Stubby which is a smaller version of my three significantly smaller version of my normal stands and uh, it's designed that it would be less expensive because it uses less plastic and it would work with most wheels with a pedal height of five to six inches um, it would support those adjustable still so it can work with any wheel um, but it just has to be one with normal pedal heights if you have an, uh, one of the wheels that has higher pedals you know like an s18 of e11 um, trying to think of some other ones, the um, the EX, uh, they they will not work on this. Uh, but I do have my Sherman on on one right now, and it's it fits fine. And also because it's shorter, there's uh, if the tire is closer to the ground, so shorter means less flex. So it's actually probably a little bit sturdier as well. So I'm uh, I'm, I'm considering what I want to do with it. If I want to put it up in the store, or not probably will. But um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might want to do that. Duff six seven, check it out. So let me know what you think. What do you think about the creators not being able to talk about the V12 yet? The early, the, the ones that have uh, been testing the V12s for quite a while. What do you think about the V12 itself? What do you think about this information that I talked about here? And uh, yeah, what do you think, man? I don't know. I don't know what I think. I just think, um, I think it's, I, I'm, I think I'm excited about the V12. I think it's unfortunate that there's still a gag order on all of the, uh, the people that I mentioned earlier. Sorry, Mickey. Um, so that's all I have, guys. If you want to become a member of my YouTube channel, there are various perks. There's store discounts, there's a special badging, and I'm also going to start uh, with certain videos. I'm going to start releasing them to members first. So members will get first crack at the videos. They'll see, I don't know how long I'll make, it, make them wait. If It might be a few hours, it might be a day. I, I don't know. I have to think about it. But I'm going to be releasing my videos to the members first before they are uh, posted to the public. So another, another small perk for joining the channel and... Um, it's very affordable. Just hit the join button down below and you get details. Okay, guys, that's all I have for now. Hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, Duffman out.